Hey YouTube. So yesterday was Shed Boar's Day, but made a couple videos and nothing was going right. It's that time of the year where everything's against you. Um, that's why I did so many tomatoes because I had to go to the store and grab a few things and I want to talk to you about that today. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. So, one of the things I do have going on this time of year, caterpillars, two different kinds, possibly three. Uh, we have vine borers down here. We have tent, tent caterpillars, pickle worms, whatever you want to call them. And we also have the horned tomato worm. Those three worms will devastate your whole garden. So I got some of this. Something else I got. Copper fungicide. Um, the reason why I got this is because it's rainy season and guaranteed blight. It sucks. Um, I'm going to try to get it under control so I can get some decent tomatoes. Um, my greenhouse tomatoes obviously don't have blight because water's not hitting the leaves. So that's a good thing. About the only th good thing I got going on right now because the rest is just pest and bad weather. Because it's that time of year in Florida right now where it rains almost every afternoon or every morning. Um, another thing I got was some manganese sulfate. Um, it's a soil enhancer. It corrects deficiencies in palms and other ornamentals. I put it in my soil to have it in my soil. It's just good to have. Um, but usually this is what you use for frizzle leaf and palms. I'm going to put some around my coconut. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, something good to have. Another thing you can use to sweeten your soil is um, sulfur. You can get a little sulfur pellets and put it in there. So, um, let's see here. What else? I got a bag of bloom fertilizer, but I already used it. Um, trying to get some more flower production. Usually, an organic way to do that would be to um, use bananas and that sort of thing. Uh, but apparently I didn't have enough bananas so I went ahead and got the granular stuff it's that time of year it's what I'm using so that's going on I'm sitting here looking at my peach cuttings just kind of shaking my head because they're all turning brown uh, it was more of an experiment anyways but let me show you guys not looking so hot yep so peach cuttings probably not so good in soil I'm trying to root them in soil I mean it looks like one of them might do something but I don't know um, definitely have to spray them and find out what's going on with them um, try to make sure no fun fungal anything sets in with these plants that's why i'm about to put this uh copper stuff in here and i already have neem in here try to keep the blight off of my plants because it's getting pretty rough right now so This way, I know I don't have a whole lot of uh, pest going on because, like I said, it's that time of year. And I apologize for the horrible camera work, but it is what it is. Yeah, mix this stuff up good whenever you do mix it. No, it is a miracle grow. This copper fungicide is like a blue color, so. Try to spray everything down with it real nice. 
get all that black sooty stuff. I'm trying to get my, uh, you know, I forgot the name of it. Guava. There we go. My pink guava back under control because got some sooty and some stuff going on here. But I'm just trying to get everything in a good balance, which is not easy to do. Once this sooty mold and stuff starts setting in, it's rough. You start losing leaves. But it is what it is. I'm just trying to make sure I can manage it to the best of my ability. And go from there. And something's going on with my chickens. So let me check that out. Alright guys, so that's what I'm doing, just trying to get all these plants together and get it going. I'm fighting I'm fighting battles on all fronts. Uh, the worms, the beetles, but I am doing a seed giveaway, which I'll do that video. I'll probably put it out tomorrow, I'm not going to lie and say I'm going to do it today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about it today. I already know what I want to do, it's just piecing it all together. Um, but I'm going to do a seed giveaway. Uh, it'll probably be just tomatoes. They're heirloom tomatoes, so you get what you get. I don't know how many packs I'm putting in. I don't know how many seeds per pack or none of that, but um, yeah, we're going to do the seed giveaway. Um, so it'll be one of those if you're stateside and, you know, you guess the question right, then seeds are yours. Uh, if you're not stateside and you know the answer, shh, because I can't really send seeds across the pond. It's kind of illegal, so customs, you know how it is, people. So, alrighty, guys, um, like I said, I'm gearing up for this year because it ain't my growing season, but I'm trying to stay up with everybody with all of my plants. Uh, the other day, I also got into my bees. They're looking good. Uh, my other nest had some issues, but I'm working through it. So, all right, guys, that's my shed wars video. Um, I hope you guys are out there growing something. I got to get the rest of these plants sprayed down, and it's raining. So, all right, happy Memorial Day to uh, all the people out there, and you know, remember the ones who gave their lives. Um, that's what this day is all about. It's really not about barbecuing. It's about the ones that didn't come home. So, um, yeah. So if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing right now, folks. All right, guys. Till next time. See you later.